Dear Diary, I hope you had a good day today because I definitely didn't. Well, it started off okay. I made eggs and toast for breakfast while watching TikToks of my favorite memes. Today, I saw a news anchor fall off after squeezing grapes into wine with her feet and go, Oh, 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 I can't breathe. Oh, oh. I hope she's all right. But here's where things go south. My YouTube community made me play a crazy deck. And expanded no less. Can you believe that? Well, I did the best I could, but I definitely felt like that grape lady. I hope they pick something better for me next week. Love, JW. Welcome back to the channel, little flexors. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I hope you're having a great day today. I am? I'm not? <laughs> you be the judge after you watch this video. Today we are going to highlight Piloswine. Piloswine? 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 I don't know. However you want to say it. Piloswine here with the Gathering Footsteps attack is what we are going to unleash on our opponent. 30 damage base, but this attack does 10 more damage for each retreat cost in the retreat cost of your Swinub, Piloswine, and Mamoswine. So, how do we increase our retreat cost? Well, we can have a lot of Swinub down. Swinub actually got a little bit of a buff here. Uh, it has three retreat. The old Swinubs had only two retreat. And this is kind of a funky line here. You got three retreat. And so, we've also included some Galar Mine to increase the retreat cost of not only our Pokemon, but our opponents. It's going to give us two more, you know, damage counters, essentially, right? Two more uh, retreat on our active Piloswine, and then also two retreat on the opponent's active. That doesn't really matter as much, but uh, that is what we're going for there. And then we can also attack for free if we go behind in prizes, which we most likely will. I mean, just think about the kind of quality of this deck, right? It's, it's going to go behind on prizes. It's going to give up prizes early. So we have included three karate belt. If this is attached to a Pokemon and you're behind on prizes, you pay one fighting energy less for your attacks. So that's going to be really nice. And then we pair it with double colorless or twin energy and we can attack for one energy essentially when we have, you know, the karate belt attached. You get the idea. We also have some uh, strong energy to increase the damage that we do every time we have a strong energy attached. Our attacks on our fighting Pokemon do 20 more damage. So that's the idea there. We also want to try to have as many Mammoth Swines out as possible that has the highest retreat cost for us. So we'll want to evolve our Pillow Swines into the Mammoth Swines, but we'll want to use Mammoth Swine or Pillow Swines attack rather. So we're going to do that via the Shining Celebi time recall. Each of your evolved Pokemon can use any attack from its previous evolution. So that's kind of the idea there. We try to get out as many Mammoth Swine as we can, and then we attack with the Pillow Swine to do hopefully big damage. We got some support supporters. Bridget, Guzma, N, and Research. We got, of course, an A-Spec. Our A-Spec of choice is Computer Search here. And then a bunch of ball cards to try to get out whatever we need at the time. So this is the list, you guys. I hope you enjoy these next few games. Remember, Expanded tends to be a little degenerate. Uh, not by any player's fault, but that's just kind of the cards that are available can allow you to do some pretty crazy things. So if you don't at least enjoy what we're doing on our side of the field, I think you might be able to appreciate what our opponent is trying to do. So here we go. This is Mammoth Swine, Pillow Swine, Swine Up, the whole gang, the Frosty Squad. Let's take a look. It's on like Donkey Kong. You guys have no idea. So, normally on Fridays, because I know we have, you know, an unusual deck list on Friday. Normally what I'll do is I'll prepare a few days in advance. So, I'll say, hey, you know, oh, okay, I see that there's a, you know, this deck looks like it's very clearly the winner. I'll go ahead and, um, you know, trade for the cards that I need. Well... <laughs> I think, needless to say, um, that didn't happen today. <laughs> oh, the <laughs> uh, Needless to say, that didn't happen today. And when I um, logged on, I noticed I had, I, I like not only had none of the pillow swine, but I also had none of the mama swine. I, I literally had nothing um, for this deck to work. So 
Um, just be, just be grateful that we got the trade. It cost me, you know, what did it cost you? Everything. It, it, it actually like cost me so much <laughs> to try to get all the cards for real though, dude. Um, swine nub, little nubby boy. One nubby boy, please. I'll take one little nub. Um, we think this guy's going to knock us out. What do we think is about to happen? I'm gonna just, I'm winging it, bro. We're gonna gnaw, <laughs> we're gonna gnaw for 30, let's go. I feel like we can't afford to discard any pillow swine, so I'm just not gonna do it. Oh, the enhanced hammer hurts, that hurts. Have mercy, have mercy on my pillow swine deck. I worry too that we're just going to get throttled here by the expanded format, because the expanded format is very unforgiving. You've been playing for 10 years like I have, and you've seen some of these cards that were degenerate when they were released and are like arguably overpowered, but just in a different way. Like Gar Garbodor is a perfect example, actually, of a Pokemon that's just like actually overpowered, but uh, you know, what can we do? Um. So let's do this. Do we care about our active Swinub? Um, I don't. I don't think so. We're gonna look for a Guzman. Okay. Okay. Do get a Manaphy. Put down a Ditto. I know that hurts. That hurts so bad. Put down a Ditto, and then we also missed another. You know, pill of swine to get evolved. Um, obviously, this is going to get negated by the Garbodor, but I just feel like it's probably the right play, to be honest. And then we will pass. Could have played the U turn board. You know, that prevents us from getting knocked out by Poltergeist, so, like, fair enough. Um, they discarded the comp search. Okay, bold. So we see Trainer's Mail. For an Acerola, okay, that can do work next turn. See a Dragapult, oh good. Golly Miss Molly. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Give me my Mama Swines. Hmm, not today. Not today. So we will put I mean, I think we go to the active, right? Uh, they're gonna have like a gust, won't they? Surely. Surely they will have a gust. Let's put it on the bench, just to be safe. And then we could also have evolved the Mammoth Swine. Um, yeah, or they just have a retreat. Or they just, they have Air Balloon and Floatstone. That's some gumption. So we missed the evolution on the Ditto. That's gonna hurt when this uh, this little buddy comes charging in. Um, we're gonna see a shred. Okay, wild, wild. All right, all right. Things are looking up. Um, let's put this active, and we can try to decide here. Uh, we do get another Pillow Swine, so that comes down. Uh, this comes down. We're doing like a two shot. <laughs> and we need an energy still. Oh, oh, we were so close. We needed an energy or karate belt. Um, so you hate to see that we, that we got neither. Um, go for a swine nub. We have three there, we have three belts left. I mean, we're gonna get it on the next research, but like, you hate to, you hate to see us go out like that. Um, and then I'll retreat into the Ditter, because that's just a free prize for a Dragapult, right? So we'll, we'll retreat into the Ditter, um, and then we'll go from there. And then we'll go from there. This feels like, this feels like you got, you know, all dressed up, all fancied up, put on your nice tuxedo, and then you got stood up at the prom. I mean, what what's a guy to do? I feel like we have set up, we've done our part, and then our deck has not uh, acquiesced. So there's a Guzman. I think they're gonna go after the Pillow Swine. 
as you should. And yeah, they're gonna just take a knockout. I just can't get any worse than this. I think we're gonna take uh, one attack. We're gonna do one attack. Yeah, I believe. Imagine playing in... I wish there was a casual ladder. Like, these games just make me <laughs> wish that there was a casual ladder. Um, I mean, this has to happen. We have no choice. Uh, we're out of... We're out of nubs. We got two nubs in the discard. Uh, we'll go here. And we will get out... I mean, this doesn't matter, I guess, anymore, does it? Let's go there. You've got to be kidding me. I guess we do get, like, the full combo. That's kind of sweet. So let's go discard these. Go ahead and get ourselves out a Stronk. Oh, no! Oh, I totally forgot. We can't even attack with it because of the the Garbodor, bro. Come on, dude. Give me some. Give me a chance, bro. Give me a chance. <laughs> I was like, okay, and then we attach the strong energy, and then we're gonna swing for like 150 damage. Like it's gonna be cool. Nah, that Garbodor really kind of sucking it up for us. Fun sucker. That's what we call him. All right, so we want to flip again. We want to go first. Our first game, we got quite the setup on that opening turn. So I am going to, um, I'm going to say yeah. I'm going to say yeah. We like Bridget. We don't need Bridget. We needed Bridget. So Swine Nub. One Nub. One nubby boy, a second nubby boy. Actually, the better play is to get the ditter. Let's get the ditter. What do we think they're playing? Do we think they're playing Eternatus? I think we could win, bro. Like, no cap. So we go to the active, because if they get a knockout on the active, then we got uh, Karate Belt to back us up. What we can't have it happen is like a Guzma, but like, they're saying heart. They're saying heart. What does that mean? Oh, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a fair most. Oh man. What the heck? I thought we were going to play something real. They can definitely get four damage counters on this boy. And then knock out the active. You hate to see it. All right. Let's see what they do. There's a guru. There's a scoop up net. There's a... I think if we... I think if we just had put down a swine up, it would have been... It would have been curtains for him. The roller skates, tails, heads, super scoop up, tails, all right. Things are going pretty well so far. Tails, let's go, baby. Level ball, another zigzagoon. All right, they need two more damage counters here on the bench ditto. Got a custom catcher for one. Okay, they got a beauty for two. Oh, that's that's good. I think we survived, chat. I think we sur I think we're gonna survive. Trainer's mail, okay. Roller skates, tails, I believe. Come on. Come on, baby. Mm. You hate to see it? Scoop up net tails. Ooh. That one's not good. That one's not good. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. <laughs> Um, if you're still here on the video, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been an absolute pleasure. What a ride. Um, I just love... One of the things that I just really enjoy doing is commentating while my opponent plays the game. I find that to be one of the most enjoyable parts about the trading card game is that um, it can be really fun to just, you know, oh, custom catcher. Oh, yeah, I hope you get the bicycle that you put on the top. Yeah, yeah, you got the bicycle. Good job, dude. All right, draw two more cards. Can he... Oh, oh. Ouch. I don't like our chances at this point with the uh, with the full bench now. They can go, you know, the Dene or something. Uh, you know, there's a Zigzagoon. Do they have the energy? Scoop up Cyclone. Can they just do it with Zigzagoons, man? They got... They've already played their supporter for turn. 
Okay, scoop up that on the top. They must have a Dedenne in hand, I'm thinking. Bicycle in hand, okay, fair enough. They got nine cards left, no chance they don't hit an energy here. There's a scoop up net, probably for an Oranguru? Yo, they're just gonna go, oh, that's it. That's five and poisons. All right, GG. Well, we did our best. We um we tried to put down two Pokemon, which normally against those kinds of decks is like pretty decent, you know, to, to win a game. But scoop them all up. We say congratulations to our opponent for an extremely well-played game. And then we move on to the next one. So here we go, Vovin. Um, please give me a chance. Please give me one more Pokemon, please. I beg of you. Oh gosh. We have to wait for our opponent to do it all again. <laughs> oh, no. I don't have faith that this is not another Donk deck. I don't have faith. What is this? Oh, it's a Ho-Oh base deck, bruh. Bruh. So they have to whiff a switch. Oh man, I'm trying to give you guys a good game, but this is why I just don't like to play Expanded, bro. It's so degenerate. So Quick Ball, we'll probably see a Crobat, right? Okay, we got a Mew. That's fine. They got four Ho-Ohs. We got to get four Tails on Rebirth, bro. You hate to see that. Okay. So the energy is flowing. And there might be a way, actually, I think they should have kept the Mew in deck because what they could do is they could have Ninja Boyd the active into the Mew and then just retreat it into a ho -Oh. oh, they they just had it. Insane. All right. So, one last game, little flexors. Thank you guys all once again for being here. If you made it this far in the video and you like the content that you've seen, please make sure to drop a like in uh you know underneath the the uh the video here and uh, if you're not already subscribed please make sure to uh subscribe as well leave me a little comment if you want to see your deck played on next friday's video we do this thing fan favorite friday it's your first time on the channel we have a lot of fun friday's our day that's our special day my special day your special day our special day uh and we play decks that you choose People put their ideas, they put their list down in the uh, comments section below. And then other people will like those comments. And the most liked comment will be in next Friday's video. All right, we're going second. We can at least set up. Believe. Just no donk decks, please. And we're fine. Okay, Crobat, I like what I see. I like what I see already. Maybe... Um... And it... Oh, no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know why they have this. I guess the Marsh Shadow? I guess they have Marsh Shadow in the deck, right? Because Marsh Shadow could get the boosted damage. All right, so again, one of my favorite things is watching my opponent just kind of churn through their deck. Um, we get to kind of, you know, talk about anything that we want. Um, it's kind of funny because, like, if we go first, we we win. Uh, just, like, have the scoop up Cyclone in hand. Okay, Bicycle, that's fine. Uh, if we go first, we just kind of, like, actually win because we have two Quick Ball. So anyway, that is the deck. We didn't even attack one time because uh, we got... Man, you think I'm going to leave you like that? Heck no. Roll it again, the salty run back. All right, this is the last one though, cause I gotta, I gotta get up for work in the morning. All right, last chance. We gotta at least get one attack off. The first time we were held back by the Garbodor. In the next two games, I mean, I think I do. Like, I think we just have to survive the onslaught. I'll take it. This also seems okay in the early game. You're kidding me, dude! We only play special energy! Oh. <laughs> um... Well... 
there's I mean there's a chance bro that there's no freaking chance bro we got no we only play special energy bro okay well thank you guys <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go softly into that Brave Knight on this one, guys. We literally have no way to attack the Zerka Tree, which, um, I, it just, that's just poggers. I, I mean, we could just do it for the fun of it, I guess, but, like, I'm gonna play myself out here. Thank you guys all so much for watching tonight, uh, this morning. If you enjoyed the content, please make sure to like subscribe etc uh, would really help me out a lot i appreciate you guys being a great community thank you all so much i'm sorry we couldn't get a win today i'm sorry we couldn't get an attack today but honestly you know i'm gonna take a little bit of the credit for that but i'm gonna put 90 percent of the credit on y'all for giving me first of all an expanded deck second of all an expanded deck that does like a cap of like 200 damage <laughs> But it was fun. At least we got our creative juices flowing. We tried to make a new list, and I think that's kind of half of what this series is all about. Just trying to make something new, trying to make something fun, trying to make it interesting. And sometimes we get really busted wins. I, Although at the rate my opponent is going, like, they are playing a bunch of stuff down. So this almost makes me feel like I want to keep playing. Um... I mean, we do, we do like this. We got the Wondrous Lab. We gotta take seven prizes. We can never attack this. Um, hmm. This is activated though. Let's see. Uh, they're just gonna do a hundred. Let's go here. Go. Um. I mean, maybe my opponent drops seven prizes down. That seems a little shady of them to do, but I guess it is theoretically possible. We're down two Galar mine. We're gonna, we're gonna try. We're gonna try. It gave us that really nice send off, and then our opponent started putting down Chin Chow and Zashin, and then I said. Hold up, wait a minute, let me put some Fuda in it. Mars, let's go, Mars University. Oh, the U-turn board is, uh, okay, we're, we are actually gonna go softly into that brave night now. No more false alarms. I once again appreciate it. They're just gonna, dude, it's gonna be a, a bloodbath, bro. It's gonna be a bloodbath. They're just gonna, they're gonna get one more energy on them. Just go to town. Oh, it's it's over. All right, we'll concede. We'll concede. Well played by all my opponents. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. This pained me greatly, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, get your comments down below for next week's video. Try to give me something that I can actually <laughs> attack with. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. That's all for me today. Remember, good luck and also have fun.